I am excited to be here with you today. My name is Eric Henderson. I'm the principal of our Park Gardens Art Magnet High School. I'm excited that you're here with us to witness history as we celebrate a new step in, in our implementation of the academies. The community engagement of Arkansas Blue Cross and Blue Shield with Parkview will provide wonderful student experiences and exploration opportunities. Welcome to the Parkview Arts and Science Magnet High School. I am confident you will be captivated by the small piece of Parkview that you'll get to experience today. If you'd like a full view of our wonderful campus and students, one of our Academy Ambassadors will be happy to provide you a personal tour at the end of today's program. Before we begin, I'd like to mention some special guests in the audience. Of course, our Superintendent, Dr. Jamal Wright, our Assistant Superintendent, uh, Dr. Shana Loring, our Director of Academies and CTE, Mrs. Montgomery, and our board member, um, <laughs> Michael Mason. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for being here. Without further ado, I'd like to introduce, introduce Jay, Sheshire, Jay Sheshire, President and CT, CEO of the Little Rock Chamber of Commerce. Thank you, Principal Henderson, and I, I will tell you, um, I'm good at forgetting names. My first fiance, <laughs> underline the word first. <laughs> yeah, that, did, that didn't work out well. Um, so congratulations, what an amazing day. You know, Principal Henderson, the, the storied history of this school and, and what you've been able to accomplish to this point with these Academy Ambassadors and what's getting ready to happen, it really is a phenomenal day here in Little Rock and Pulaski County. And I, you know, you know it's a special day when you have a stalwart of our government like Pulaski County Judge Barry Hyde, who actually came for this event. We were talking about this yesterday and he says, you know, I wanna be here because this is changing what we're doing from an, an economic development standpoint not because it's about a job, but it's about career, college, and opportunities for all kids. And so we're excited about today's announcement, and I evidently uh, have triggered somebody's, uh, Alexa, please call my first fiance. So the Little Rock Regional Chamber started this journey many, many years ago. Uh, but we, we started this journey with partners. And before you can actually begin to create change, obviously you have to have folks who are willing to walk alongside with you to, to help create that change. And Lisa Farrell, who's our current president of 50 for the Future, one of those Troy Wells uh, with Baptist Health, our incoming chair, our chair Rajesh Chakhani, and so many other business leaders represented today. Merritt Dyke, our current uh, co-chair of our Met Rock Forward campaign as we're trying to fund this type of work and, and so many others that are with us today to celebrate not only what's going to happen here at Parkview, but what's going to happen in the lives of all of these wonderful young students and scholars that are going to school here. So, you know, when we started this back in 2019, we didn't know exactly where it would end. Uh, we were looking at places across the country that had, had significant success in this model of learning. It is not a program. It's a model of learning, taking kids and their interest in something and, and basically teaching them through that lens so that they learn better and then they also become lifelong learners. And so when you look at the different pathways of study that they will now have the opportunity to learn in, it's going to be exciting not only for what they <coughs> decide they want to do, but in many cases, what they decide they don't want to do simply because they had the opportunity to see it here at the high school level. So from a school level and a district level, we've had a whole host of people put a tremendous amount of work to get us here today. Parkview and the leadership of this school district have hosted community meetings, conducted student surveys, studied and implemented the academy's model all with a student focus to ensure that those students reap the benefits, also following with fidelity the framework of what makes this actually work and kids have the opportunity to learn and become lifelong learners. And they've organized 
small learning communities called academies, which offer all freshmen the freshman seminar course, and then their sophomore, junior, and senior level students to be better prepared for college and a career due to the relevant learning that they're receiving as a result of business partnerships. So as I said, academies isn't a program. It's a method of teaching and learning. And to do that, obviously, you have to engage the teachers and have the opportunity to visit with teachers uh, in the early years as we began to get this put together and as we began to offer them the opportunities to visit with fellow teachers in the Nashville Public School District in Nashville, Tennessee, to see how this is working there, to get them excited about this framework of learning. And every single teacher that we've had that have been a part of this obviously loved it, number one. Number two, wanted to be a part of it. And number three, recognize how it's going to positively impact so many students. So as we undergo this transformation, it takes incredible leadership. The Little Rock School District's newest leader, Superintendent Dr. Jamal Wright, inherited this work. Interestingly enough, though, with all that he's had on his plate, tackling major system reform, since he started from day one, he's been a supporter of what we're trying to do together, this community together for our students and for their future. So he's never been afraid, never been afraid to tackle a challenge, never been afraid to say no. And sometimes that's the hardest thing to say. But he's always said through this process as we've come to this day that this is right. This is right for students, for teachers, for the community. This is right for their lives. So we're so pleased to have him leading our Little Rock School District team, and we're so pleased to be a partner with him in this process. Please welcome with me Dr. Jamal Wright. Thank you, Jane. Good morning to everyone. Jay's comments about his first fiance was triggering for me this morning, um, which is evident that I may need to take advantage of some of the services that will be offered here in our newest Academy of Health here at Parkview. So um, I cannot begin to tell everyone how excited um, I am for this day to arrive. We all recognize that traditional models of teaching and learning is just not cutting it for uh, today's students. That's why these intentional partnerships that provide them with hands-on opportunities driven by what they are passionate about, it makes sense. As we seek new ways to engage our students, we are also reimagining how that looks, how we can help, how we can tap into existing community resources to create pathways that align our instruction with the needs of businesses. This not only gives Little Rock School District students a head start, it helps to ensure that they are future ready. The announcement of the partnership between Parkview and Arkansas Blue Cross and Blue Shield is particularly timing in light of today's community challenges. We'd like to thank the Chamber for its ongoing efforts to establish academies that help enhance the high school experience in Arkansas Blue Cross and Blue Shield for providing this meaningful opportunity for our students. Today, I am honored, excited, and elated to have the privilege of announcing this new partnership and the creation of the Arkansas Blue Cross and Blue Shield Academy of Health Sciences at Parkview Arts and Science Magnet High School. Business partners look considerably different in the Academy's model. We aren't just asking a company to write a check, although we take checks. <laughs> um, and we're, of course, not just asking them to put their name or banner on a football field or to just donate school supplies and then walk away. We're asking the business to actually partner with us, to partner with the school, the teachers, and the students, to engage in the teaching and learning process and to be in the building on a consistent basis. Curtis Barnett, the Arkansas Blue Cross and Blue Shield of Arkansas uh, Blue Cross and Blue Shield, he understood the ask, or as we like to say, he understood the assignment, <laughs> and he took it seriously from the first meeting we had with them. They evaluated their resources, identified a staff person who could support the partnership, and only then did they commit to move forward. That level of intentionality, planning, and commitment is exactly what our schools need to ensure we graduate students ready for college, career, and for life. As president and CEO of Arkansas Blue Cross, serving more than two, two million members nationwide, Curtis is leading the company's efforts to help transform healthcare and striving to make it more affordable and compassionate system. 
He has spoken locally and nationally about the need for a whole person approach to healthcare and has a passion for improving behavioral health as evidenced by their commitment here today. Please join me in welcoming Curtis Barnett, CEO of Arkansas Blue Cross and Blue Shield. Thank you, Dr. Wright, and, and I'm going to break the pattern and not talk about fiancés <laughs> this morning, and, and I'd plan to start by talking about my tie, and so I went to great pains to make sure that my tie matched the uniforms that the Parkview Patriots were wearing when they won the 5A state football championship back in December, so let's hear that. Thank you all for being here this morning, especially all these, these young folks who are with us here today. Uh, Arkansas Blue Cross and Blue Shield has over 1,600 employees that live in Pulaski County. Many of them have kids who attend a public school in one of the four districts. Our employees care deeply about education. It's important to them that their children have access to safe, <coughs> high-quality schools and good career paths when they finish. We're a major constituent of the local school districts. Their success is paramount to us. So as the Little Rock Chamber, under Jay's leadership, embarked upon this critical journey, and we in the business community learned more about the Academies of Central Arkansas model, it was always clear to us at Arkansas Blue Cross that we needed to play a role. What was less clear was how and where we might fit in. We first met with the Chamber team when they were recruiting business partners in 2021. They reviewed each participating school in the county and the planned pathway for each. They mentioned Parkview Arts and Science Magnet High School and a pathway focused on health and applied science with an emphasis on mental and behavioral health. But we quickly moved on to the schools and pathways that seemed like a good match for a health insurance company. Pathways like business finance and accounting, computer science programming, and business operations. We got to the end of the list and I asked if we could go back and talk about Parkview. Did they have a partner? Not yet. I shared how Arkansas Blue Cross had recently launched a major strategic initiative around mental and behavioral health, recognizing that physical health and mental health are intimately and completely connected and that there is no health without mental health. We met with the leadership at Parkview, Principal Felicia Bell and Brittany Creighton and felt an almost instant connection, a shared passion for addressing mental and behavioral health needs and a strong desire to work together. That connection has continued under Mr. Henderson's leadership. No one here today must be told that we're facing a mental and behavioral health crisis in our country. We see it play out every day. We continue to see significant increases in rates of depression, anxiety, suicidal behaviors, and substance use, especially among our adolescents and young adults. The mental and behavioral health care challenges we face are layered and complex but expanding the available mental health workforce to meet the growing demand must be part of the solution. A critical first step in growing the workforce is to expose young people to mental health career paths while they're in high school. We look forward to working alongside the Parkview team, the teachers, the administrators, Academy coach Brittany Creighton, to develop and deploy a mental and behavioral health pathway of study, which is a focus of this academy. There are many re rewarding career opportunities in the behavioral health field, and the need is great. We will help introduce students to the possibilities through guest lecturers from those experienced and skilled in diagnosing and treating mental health conditions, career mentors, industry tours for hands-on training, job shadowing, capstone projects, internships for students, and teacher externship opportunities, and curriculum advisement, just to name a few. Under David Jacobson's leadership, Arkansas Blue Cross has a team of behavioral health nurses, social workers, addiction counselors, and psychiatrists committed to ensuring our members get the behavioral health care and support they need. They'll be sharing their experiences with students along with the analytics and tools they use to be effective in their work. They'll help these students not only understand and prepare for the many job opportunities and behavioral health that exists within our company and the broader healthcare system, but also to appreciate how their work helps people live better lives. David, members of his team are here today along with our academy coordinator, Sarah Lair, 
who will be working closely with Brittany, Rebecca Patillo, who's the executive director of the Blue and You Foundation, Demona Fisher, Allison Melson, of our corporate marketing team, who will be deeply involved making sure this community partnership works. I want to thank all of you. We couldn't have imagined the response that we got from all of you this morning in the turnout, and this is just absolutely outstanding. But I want to thank all of you for coming today to help us celebrate this great partnership. I especially want to thank our area chamber partners who are represented here today, our friends from the Little Rock School District and the Academies of Central Arkansas, and our new really, really, really good friends from Parkview High School uh, for being here today as well. We look forward to partnering with you on this amazing opportunity to make a real difference in the future of our city and in the future of our state. Now I'm going to turn it back over to Jay. Jay? You know, in the world of politics, as the county judge will tell you, if they don't know, they vote no. And I think today's a perfect example of helping the, 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 the community understand what this is all about. In my very first meeting with Curtis, Curtis Barnett, who I'd never met before until he became the CEO of Blue Cross, we went through a whole host of things that we were doing from an economic development standpoint. At the very end of the meeting, he said, you know, Jay, he goes, there's something else I want to talk about. He said, we've got to help our public schools. What can we do to not write a check, as he said, or as Dr. Wright talked about in his introduction, not write a check and walk away, or just put your name on a banner? All those are wonderful things, because we do accept checks. <laughs> but what can we do to impact students' lives? Not only the life today, but their life tomorrow. And from that day forward, Curtis and his team have looked for specific ways to do just that in ways that have never been done before. You know, I've, I've, I've seen comments in the, in the community about what this they think is about. But I think today shows you what this truly is about. It's about every student having an opportunity to learn through a relevant framework, to become whatever it is they want to become with the help not only of Arkansas Blue Cross and Blue Shield, but with some amazing teachers and administrators and people who work in the school cafeteria or work on traffic out in the parking lot because this is about all of us. It's not just about one specific thing. So Curtis, we can't thank you enough for your leadership and support of this academy and the commitment that you've made to partner here at Parkview High School. The relevant learning that your team will help provide is going to impact students way beyond anything we can even imagine. You know, I'm blessed to work with a team that every day we talk about we're going to help somebody today, and they're never going to know who we are. And that's okay. In fact, that's better than okay. That's great. Because if we're not all in it together to do just that, then we're not giving them the opportunity that we were given to stand here today. So this relevant learning is going to impact them, but I'm going to let a local student, a Parkview ninth grader, tell you a little bit about that because she can do it far better than I. Please welcome with me Parkview ninth grader Zoe Shepard. Hello everyone, my name is Zoe Shepard and I'm a rising sophomore here at Parkview Arts and Science Magnet. I'm in the Science Magnet with my focus being the Academy of Health and Applied Sciences. After graduation, I plan on becoming a pediatric physical therapist. A positive mindset and mental health are both essential to progress in physical therapy. That is why I'm excited for Parkview's partnership with Arkansas Blue Cross Blue Shield. This partnership will provide the opportunity to hear from guest speakers, gain certifications that will bring me a step closer to achieving my goals, and possibly the opportunity to job shadow or intern someone in those fields. This partnership will help me achieve the goal of becoming a physical therapist and grown as someone who can help others achieve whole health. Thank you to everyone from Arkansas Blue Cross Blue Shield for your willingness to serve students, improve education, and expand your wellness and whole health. Thank you.
just when you think the future's not bright. <laughs> These ambassadors, Zoe, what, what, what an amazing day. Thank you, Zoe. So this is just the beginning. Last fall, we had the Baptist Health Announcement at Southwest. Today, the Arkansas Blue Cross Announcement here at Parkview. Uh, there's several more announcements that are going to be made over the next two weeks. So we invite you all to join with us for those celebrations as well. But even that isn't enough. Work continues to onboard partners at all of our Pulaski County high schools. You know, we used to think there were 10, but there are actually 11 because there's two high schools within one in North Little Rock. So this is about every student in Pulaski County. This isn't about those students over there or these students here. This is about every student in Pulaski County. So help us spread the word. We invite any business that wants to connect with students to prepare them for not only what their life is going to be, but relevant learning for today to prepare them for that. Whether that's college, career, of course we all will eventually be in a career, or something else that they choose to do. We invite you to be a part of that. Visit www.academiesforcentralarkansas.org and click Partner Now. So with that, I'm gonna invite Principal Henderson back to the podium to provide information for those who may wanna stay for this student demonstration and activity and also be a part of the mental and behavioral health pathway that the students here are preparing at Parkview. Congratulations, Principal Henderson. We're so thankful to be your partner. So anytime you prepare a script, you always mess up. So I, I did look around and I saw Parkview's fifth principal, Dr. Dexter Booth in the house, and I wanted to make sure I recognized him before I went on. Dr. Booth. All right, so now I'm back on script. All right. Thank you to all of our esteemed guests for being part of our celebration today. To those who will be leading the charge moving forward, now the real work begins. As a Parkview family, we are truly excited for the major impact this will have on Parkview students. As a performing arts school, we'd like to show you a glimpse of how students will directly be supported through this partnership. Shortly, our Parkview students and Nina Dunn, the lead therapist for Life Strategies Counseling, will be giving you a demonstration of our future safe space. We envisioned providing students with a place where they can discuss and unwind from the stress they face on a daily basis. So as we wrap up today's program, we'd like to take a brief moment for pictures, and our demonstration will begin in about three minutes. Once again, thank you for attending today and witnessing this great moment in Parkview history. <laughs> Okay with sharing that with you. Okay. Mm -hmm. What's gonna make you do? 